Sitting on the shores of Lake Ontario is the town of Bowmanville. Here, staff at the local museum have experienced several unexplained encounters. Oh, almost every day that I'm down here, especially when I'm turning around towards the computer, I feel like I'm being watched from behind, like there's someone in the doorway. At one point, I think I thought it was a staff member just playing a trick, that <laughs> playing like peekaboo in the doorway, and then when I would turn around to look, nobody was there. The rescue mediums are on their way to investigate. And as usual, their mode of transport is somewhat irregular. I feel like the Queen of Sheba up here. <laughs> Jackie and Christine have gained a reputation as psychics who travel the world investigating paranormal activity. The rescue mediums have been given no prior knowledge of their destination. Even the name of this seemingly peaceful town has been kept secret. However, days earlier, they claimed to have had some premonitions. I think there is a female in the spirit world that is haunting the property that we're going to. Right. I also want a haunted play area because I can hear children's voices. So I don't know if there's a part of the house or a part of the grounds where there are spirit children or some sort of a disaster that involved children. There's a spot at the bottom of the stairs that I affectionately refer to as the black hole. It's a spot that we avoid. Uh, we don't like to walk through this space. I feel like there's something behind me kind of forcing me up the stairs. A dark hole, a dark place. And then somebody had a feeling that somebody was stood right next to them. Yeah, great apprehension in one spot. Yeah. And I'm not sure why I'm feeling the apprehension in that particular place. Well, every time I come into this building, every time I open the door, my eyes just automatically are drawn to the top of the stairs. And like a flash, I see a woman in a white dress. It's just a feeling like I'm not alone. This is like a mother and daughter, but they would probably both either haunt separate houses that were close by mm. or the same house. To support their claims, Jackie and Christine have created what they call psychic drawings. Oh, look at her. She's a little sweet, isn't she? Mm. Seems like she's mourning someone. With their research in hand, Jackie and Christine make their way to the troubled museum, where the staff are desperate for their arrival. I feel things like, um, in the pit of my stomach, confusion, um, sadness sometimes, incredible sadness. I think it has caused some stress among the staff, with myself and with other staff members. They're just very uncomfortable in the building and we, we just don't want to be here. Kush! Kush! This is the first time the rescue mediums have visited Bowmanville Museum or met staff members, Martha and Susan. Hi, Martha. Hi, Martha. This is Susan. Hi, Susan. <laughs> And where's the dining room? Lovely. Thank you. Beautiful place. Before they take a journey around the museum, Jackie and Christine want to discuss their apparent premonitions. Old papers and wills that have been found. Yes. 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 Horses, stables, racehorses, riding boots. Okay, yes. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> yes. Have you heard, like, running or stomping noises yes. running up? Yes. Okay. And would you have heard these on the stairs? Yes. Um, a feeling of great apprehension in one particular spot. Oh, gosh, yes. And also blasts of, like, cold air or warm air? Yes. A play area, sound of children's voices. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. A feeling as if someone is standing right next to you, right beside you. Yes. A female in spirit that, that haunts yeah, absolutely. OK. Beginning their investigation, the rescue mediums are immediately drawn to the upper floor and a child's bedroom. Mm. <laughs> so I can see vomit everywhere. All over there. 
vomit everywhere. That's a spooky one. Oh, I got This room. It feels a bit funny. Feels a lot funny, not just a bit. I've gone very, very cold. Feels like somebody stood right behind me. I'm feeling sickly now as well. Yeah, this. You know how we walk into a room and we say yeah. like it's male or female. This yeah. feels female. Female, definitely female. Are you feeling dizzy? Yeah. Because I feel incredibly dizzy and I feel really sickly and dizzy with this lady. I th think this lady needs some help. It's just like wispy, like this. Wispy. Just to let you know she's there. It's very gentle. As so though she will be very, very gentle. And just guiding round. The rescue medium sense that the spirit is leading them, so they leave the room and quickly move into the grounds of the property. Diphtheria. The children. Yes. Ch childhood illnesses. Children of. Oh my God, there's, there's uh, children linked here that have passed. Okay. With, uh, died in childhood with, with uh, childhood illness. Childhood illnesses. Yeah. Ooh, spooky hollow. Watch this, this big branch here stuck out. Oh, it's another little place, yeah. Yeah. This building, located in the grounds of the museum, houses the town's oldest archives. Don't think we'll get done for trespassing, do you? Do you care? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, oh. Inside, the rescue mediums are drawn to the archive room where the town's records lie. Perhaps a hidden identity sits among these archaic documents. I just seen a man down the bottom of, of there. He's just come out from down the back of there and stood there, watched us, and then turned and, and walked that way. Right. The rescue mediums prepared to examine the archives. Heavy, isn't it? Very. Got pain here and arm. Yeah. Ooh. watching us, Chris. It's as if he's one aisle away all the time. Sometimes behind and sometimes in front. Can the rescue mediums get to the bottom of this mystery? And why have they been led to this building? The tragic answer is about to be revealed. Oh, God. Tell them to take it off. 